what you're looking at isn't just the latest Rolls-Royce Phantom. It's not merely an exquisite collection of lines, leather and wood. What you're actually looking at is the greatest expression of modern automotive luxury. A statement for the world to enjoy that you, my friend, have made it. The Phantom nameplate is an important one for Rolls-Royce. The Phantom 7 was the model that helped relaunch the company back in 2003, but even before then, the owner's list read like a who's who of celebrity and royalty. Fred Astaire had a Phantom 1, John Lennon used to own a Phantom 5, which looked amazing. Even Her Majesty the Queen had a Phantom 6. If you are anybody, you either drive or are driven in a Rolls Royce, and the Phantom is the pinnacle. The story of the Rolls Royce Phantom began in 1925, when customers would choose their chassis and running gear before asking their favourite coach builder to form the body. Even back then it was considered the best car in the world as Henry Royce built a philosophy on taking the best that exists and making it better. With each new version, the game changes, usually because Rolls decides it needs to. And it always starts back here. This is the extended wheelbase Phantom, so it's nearly six metres in length. And naturally, I have got acres of legroom. I can stretch pretty much my entire body out. I've got heated armrests, automatic electrically folding tables and footboards, even cup holders that can hold champagne flutes. And check out this vanity mirror. I don't even think I've got a mirror back at home that's as big as that. But the one thing you notice most of all in here is the silence. It feels like a library, only quieter. And the key to that is this all new chassis. This isn't an upscaled version from BMW. This is all new and bespoke to Rolls Royce. And it's lighter, it's stiffer, and it has a sandwich construction beneath this floor. And the sandwich filler, so to speak, is sound insulation. There's 130 kilograms of the stuff wedged in beneath the floor, in the door cards, even the tires. And this window has even got six millimeter thick double glazing. So you can get an impression of how cosseted this thing feels. You can't even hear the engine, which is a bit of a shame because it's a twin turbocharged 6.75 liter V12 with a key stat being 664 pounds foot of torque from a very low set 1700 RPM. And that means that this thing accelerates effortlessly. It's got a really brisk progress about it and it just feels constantly smooth all the time. I won't be uncouth and mention performance stats, but rest assured, pretty much like everything else in here, it's better than it needs to be. Oh, go on then. The previous Phantom had a few tricks up its immaculately tailored sleeve. Not only did it conceal some pretty nifty umbrellas, you could also close these doors automatically at the touch of a button. All present and correct for this model, except now you can also close the front doors at the touch of a button. To entertain the eyes, Rolls-Royce has done without that traditional dashboard and instead added something called the gallery. Behind this huge piece of toughened glass sits your very own vacuum sealed art exhibition. You can choose from a variety of contrasting colours and materials that have been selected by Rolls-Royce, or if you fancy, you could even commission your own David Hockney. It's this kind of attention to detail and truly bespoke touches that gets customers at this level very excited about cars like the Phantom. And what is automotive luxury if it can't offer things like this? It certainly isn't just adding more leather and wood, that's for sure. I wouldn't describe this as driving so much as moving in style. But my word, what an event this thing is, looking over that vast expanse of bonnet. The ride quality is easily the most comfortable thing I have ever driven. The steering too. The steering itself is light and, and the wheel is very thin and delicate compared to regular cars. So you find yourself pinching and feeding the wheel a bit more than you would normally because it's almost a more sophisticated way to travel. It has a navigation-aided eight-speed automatic transmission. It also has a front-mounted camera that is constantly monitoring the road surface ahead for imperfections. So not only does this car know where the corners are, it knows where the bumps in the corners are. This car also features four-wheel steering, and while it's supposed to offer you more high-speed stability, where you notice that more is actually at low speeds. When you're driving around town, the turning circle is vastly improved and that's going to be very comforting for any Phantom driver who'll be taking these in and out of city centres. The Phantom may shock you with superlatives and style, but the more time you spend in its company, 
the more you appreciate its many subtleties, its quest for modern luxury and for celebrating craft and permanence in a world of transience. So the big question, is the Rolls-Royce Phantom still the ultimate expression of luxury motoring? Honestly, I think it goes further this time. I think this is the ultimate expression of luxury full stop.